14 April 2023, Friday. Let's discuss today's market technical outlook with the TWB chart, shall we? Let's do it now. Disclaimer apply usual. Okay, before we go into the charts, I look at China market because I'm always concerned with this market. And you can see that it's still following the script, guys. Now, the thing is this, the market came down yesterday, uh, the day before to 13,000. It's something I, I warned you guys, but because today I was a bit busy, I couldn't do the technical. So we noticed that the market actually rebounded exactly at 13,000 and went all the way up and close above the MA30. But as of today right now, we can see that it basically tested the 38.2 Fibonacci, but failed to close above the MA200 and below and it closed below the ME30. So again, this is not a good sign. Now think about this. The US market has been up for the last five, six days, and the China A50 has been going down. So don't you think that something is wrong here? Now you look back at the tape, when the China market was going up here, the Dow was actually coming down. So if they're going to be a prelude of what may happen next, right? probably the China market is telling us that the US market could be coming down soon. What do you think? Let me know in the comment box, okay? All right, so with that done, let's just look at the charts individually right now. Okay. Now for the Dow Jones today, pretty clear that the Dow is still mounting up pretty strongly. Now the Dow from this point here has went up by easily 2,300 points in the last 14 trading days. So if you stay long in the market, you are pretty in the right position. So how would you have done that? Well, look at it guys. If you look at the indicator, this was where the indicator turns green with no KCX. And that's where the market started to rally. So if you follow through the last from 33,000, all right, 33,300, the technical level here. Once it stays above it, look at the market. It went all the way up. So for those who went long all the way, congratulations to all of you. Now for today, it's a bit different. Today, let's just go into some details. Okay, so first of all, the upside for today, if the market stays up, we can see going back to 34,117. But if the market stay down, then the chocolate bar will be covered and that will be about 33,700 series, okay? Now for the TWB chart, right, we can see that it's now trying to test the 34,029 level. All right, that means that it had tested it, the highest 34,031, and then it got rejected and it came off. Now, the thing is this, first today, the market pivot to is 34,029. Hence, therefore, if the market stays below OP, which is now, or okay, it's about nearly OP level, then selling will begin, all right? Because below OP, below pivot two is usually for selling. And if you look at the five minute chart of this Dow Jones, you will see the amazing um, touch and go on the um, pivot. And that's the reason why a lot of people wants to pivot, but of course this is a trade secret of ours. You can see very clearly, this is the Dow touching the pivot two, but couldn't stay above it and bang, it came down. Because we all know that, right, pivot two, anything below pivot two is a sell, it's never a buy, okay? All right, so that is the Dow Jones in terms of forecast. So the upside, we will tell you that is 34,117. The downside, well, the downside can be down all the way to MLP, 33,840, yeah? This is actually possible, okay? Oops, sorry. Go on. Here we go, 33,840, yeah? Take note of that. Now the NASDAQ, let's take a look at the NASDAQ right now. The NASDAQ is incredible. Down three days, covered the upside. Then yesterday, U-turn because of the PPI data because of the jobless claim. Wow, look at the NASDAQ. It should back up again. And today, 13,119 should be the first target. 13,139, next target. And a fresh chocolate bar is 13,159. Okay, so by right, we should have a very easy right. Things looks good. All right, let's look at the market over here. Well, based on what we are seeing right now, the market is trying to test pivot one. Once it crosses over pivot one, above OP, it will naturally be a buy. Yeah? So it's very different from the uh, from the Dow Jones field. The thing is this, the KSI is actually red. Mm, that's not a good sign. But the KCX is actually blank. Okay, so it's a mixed bag right now. So this mixed bag may tell you that there could be uh, some selling interest but the buy will come from the bottom, all right? So we'll take a look at what happened. Now, for the NASDAQ, if you can break above the pivot one, it should be going towards 13,192. But if you fail, then it may come back to the MLP and something I just mentioned, 11, uh, 12,968. All right, so this is the upside and downside of the NASDAQ. Okay, let's look at S&P 500, guys. S&P 500, let's take a look. Well, we are very, very near to the first KCB, 4148. I think it was tested earlier. The next level is 4158, all right? So let's see how it goes. And uh, let's look at the S&P. 
Now, S&P today, opening price is slightly below pivot one. So that means that if you can cross pivot one, 41, 48, it should be able to get what it wants. And of course, by then you can attract more people coming in. Yeah. The upside target is 4217, although a bit far, but anyway, it is possible. And let's see whether the market can push it up all the way there for the boom before the bust. All right, so this is the China, uh, this Hong, Hang Seng. Hang Seng today, let's take a look right now. Hang Seng today, opening price was a gap up and it covered the gap nicely. And it go down a bit to KTR, I think minus one, minus two. Thank you, very job, well done. But then again, you can see the market reverse cost pretty fast and stay above the gap. So if you ask me, right, if Hang Seng is to go higher, I'm not even half surprised. Of the, thing, the same thing is this. There is this KFC level at 20,753. Is it still there? And as it still is. So of course, everybody know what to do, right? Okay. Okay, so next market, we will be... Okay, so now we are done with indices. Let's look at the next indices, Nikkei. Now, Nikkei, you can see, has been going up for the last few days. And of course, uh, we can see multiple um, Omega signs because... For Nikkei, right, every morning, right, it's first to go and it's a lot of uh, one directional play. So it's really pointless to know where got Omega because uh, this is more for slower market. For Nikkei, right, you can see right now Nikkei has created a new BNB. And if you cross the BNB RL, this should be able to track it up all the way to 28,559. The BNB RL level is at 28,424. So if the market breaks above it, this will be the next target. All right. Okay. So hopefully things happen well. All right, so that is Nikkei. All right, so FUSI is next. Now FUSI opens slightly, like uh, like them very little because it's like yesterday was full of lie, right? So the thing is this, if you look carefully, right, the market is surging up, KSI is green and KCX is, non, is not there. So it's, everything is still bullish right now. Okay, so if you ask me for numbers, I think the next number that I can think of is the um, 2912, right? That is the KCB, which uh, the market rejected it initially, but now we're getting nearer and nearer. So I think that uh, this is possible. Now the downside will be 7768, because that's a pivot too. And if you lose an MLP, that will be even worse. So all I can say is that the upside is very confirmed, downside is so confirmed. So we just need to look at the market closely, all right? Okay, so we are done with the indices. Let's look at currency, shall we? Now, currency we have here is the dollar yen. Now, the US dollar yen, the dollar yen itself continues to slide for the third straight day, and very soon you can test the 132055 KCB. It was tested yesterday and then rebounded, but today the way it's selling, I don't think it will just test. It may even go lower. All right, so you may go to 132 level to find me. All right. So this is the dollar yen day chart. Wow, quite impressive. You asked me today, it's a CCYR. And as long as I'm comfortable take on the right, why not, okay? But the thing is this, uh, um, you can see from here itself, the market overall is still kind of bullish. So it's kind of funny that, that uh, this happened, but I say again, we follow the chart, we don't care what they say. So the dollar yen, if you fail to continue, it may go all the way down to 132055, okay? That's not too far away and that's not a good sign, all right? The next number we want 130815, that is making it worse, okay? All right, so that will be the dollar yen. Let's look at the um, pound and euro. Okay, for pound, well, we have a bit of doji at the moment, trip free upside. Yeah, I think that is possible. Next target could be 1.24832 or 1.24238. Wow, this is an interesting number. Okay, all right, so with that basically confirmed, right? Okay, we were. We look at this uh, TRBB chart right now, but today TRBB chart is actually open right between the two pivots, so nothing can be used. And the thing is this, the pivot one has 1.29296689 as a stick. So the thing is this, uh, if the market goes up higher, it may go and test 1.25689 level. That is a pivot one. I kind of think that that should be all because the US dollar, the way the... As you mentioned, all right, seemingly they don't really want the other currency to keep on going higher. So we just take a look down at 1.25689, okay? So that is the upside. Okay, so we are done with that. Let me look at the... Okay, what did I miss? Yeah, I think uh, Euro, right? Okay, let's go Euro. 
All right, for Euro, it's still surging and you just tested the KCB at 1.10637. All right, just tested it. So all I can say that now it's in the position whereby you're not supposed to, you know, uh, to look at the market and to for target. So the next target is 1.11566. So it's something very familiar to the pivot one. So that's why it's asking if you want to join in and then go for this number. KSI is green and no KCX though is 10 bullish. So it is possible for the market to test 1.11178. Okay, so traders watch out for that. Okay, you're done on the currency. Let's look at the crude oil. Now for crude oil, we can see that yesterday and today there's some pullback, right? Because of PPI data, nothing to concern for. In fact, this is very, very uh, good so that all the weak holders can get out. And of course, those who are stronger holders can come in. Now, the thing is this, at $81 right now, right? I suspect you'll go down to 79.82. Yes, I believe that it will go down to 79.82 because uh, that is the feel I get right here. But once this is done, the next wave can be all the way to 2002. Now, of course, you may ask then, where's my 2218 target, right? Let's go for 2200 two, 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 first. Once we hit on it, we look at the market 2218, yeah? Okay, so that is crude oil. And of course, the KSI is green and no KCX. So it's all pretty safe right now. And the only thing that holding that now is the BNB support level. I'm trying to get it for you right now. We're thinking for the numbers to come in, but you can actually have it right now. The number here is at 81.53, yeah? 81.53. Okay, let's just move on. Let's look at gold and uh, silver. Now for gold today, there is a bit of pullback today. So 2014, all right, is the next number we're looking at. Now to 2035. So I believe that if any significant pullback, it should be the halfway mark of the candle. If not, uh, 2014. Okay, so what's the halfway of the thing? Let me just bring it in right now. Okay. So the goal today is going to pull back. Um, let's take a look. Goal pivot two is at 2030. I suspect that will be the first support. It's pretty in line, the BNB extension. But if the market breaks it, I think the ultimate support will be 2027. That should hold water, okay? To me, is that any pullback in goal will be a good time to look at it. So if you look back at the chart, you can see that from the highest point here to here, it's about $73 over two working days, all right? $73. If from here drop to here, it's about um, this uh, down about nearly 50 years. Okay, uh, 50, uh, 50, the price of 50. It means that from here itself, you can see from here to here is down by 75. Here to here is down by 50. So if you look at the regression method itself, it's going to be ideal if it's 25. So 25 with somewhere around here that will give me approximately about 2022. So if the market to pull back, right, 2022 could be a first technical level to watch out for, okay? Now for the uh, TLBB chart, right, in, as I said to you, the pivot two is critical, yeah? KSI is green and no KCX, so that means that bullishness will still come in. So anything at 2022 to 2014, you can give it a try, yeah? Okay, this is silver. Silver is still escalating higher. Silver four days in a row, five days in a row going up. And you can see my multiple trend lines is all coming in. Okay, so very simple. I think that silver may be a little bit exhausted. A pullback to 25.47 or worse, 25.08 will be fantastic. And then after that, right, there should be another wave for her. So think about this. Why don't we consider the silver? Unless you think that silver is going to go higher, then it could be going 26 to 26, 26. Let's see how it goes, yeah? Okay, last two will be Bitcoin and Ethereum. Let's look them in Bitcoin. Now, Bitcoin this morning have just tested 31,000. Wow, what a jump. Now, I'm still not buying any Bitcoin because I still kind of convince myself on buying Bitcoin, but I could see going out every single day. I cannot deny this. It's kind of sad though. But the thing is that I don't want to wake up in the middle of the night and during the day, then after that, there's a collapse on certain things, especially like Bitcoin. Okay, anyway, uh, my view is simple. Today is an upside day. Um, 31,352 will be the target for Bitcoin. And of course, between, between on the indicators and the and the way things are moving, well, it's likelihood that it really may test 31,455. That, that is the PTP short sell level, yeah? Okay, so that's Bitcoin. And Ethereum has broke above 2,000. Well, I mean, the only thing that was very, very, very positive was Ethereum. I did say that Ethereum will go to 2,000. 
he really came. And not only that, he went all the way to 2100. Wow, another 100 points. And down this time, he came because now the thing is this, um, the market should be around here for resistance. Although the market is expecting at 3,000, 5,000 again, but usually around here, it will be a good time to take some profit. Okay, we may see it go way higher because of the resilience in the market, but you can also expect it may come down, you know, you never know. But of course, you have uh, other things coming in with the war factor here and there. Well, it can actually stimulate all these out risky assets yeah okay that'll be all for today hope you like my sharing session i'll see you again next monday this is cal signing off bye bye